Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today we'll be going over what is in the August Smart Art Box. We got a lot of fun things this month, so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright, so like always we are going to open up our box and see our Smart Art brochure. Open it up and you will see some history on the materials in this box for this month, as well as a total list of everything you're going to find in here. Flip to the next page and you will get your quick start guide to help you get a starting idea on how to use these products. Flip to the next page and you will see your skill challenge guide to give yourself a little extra challenge in using these products this month. And then flip to the back and you can get some pointers on how to get the best results using these products as well as your weekly challenge prompts. Alright, so the first thing out of this box is the Higgins Fountain Pen India Ink. This is a free-flowing, non-waterproof ink that is perfect for calligraphy, painting, drawing, and sketching. This has a super rich dark black color to it and works great with brushes, pens, and airbrushes. This will make some beautiful art this month. Now the next item in here goes hand in hand with the inks and that is the Princeton Bamboo Brushes. These brushes are ideal for using inks to create amazing drawings, paintings, and coloring. These are made with natural hair and are set within a bamboo handle. Next out of this box is the Spectrum Noir Illustrator 6 Pack. These pens offer 6 colors and featuring a Japanese nib combination to give you excellent performance and control with your drawings. These pens combine an amazing nib quality with professional color results in the end. Next out of this box is one of my favorite pens and that is the Tombow Brush Pen. This firm brush tip pen gives you the ability to create thick and thin lines with ease and comfort. This pen works great for drawing, calligraphy, and line work, and features a water-based rich black pigment. And the last thing out of this box is the Legion Papers Mesa Paper. Mesa Paper is a very versatile paper that allows you to use it in many different applications, like watercolor, painting, printmaking, and sumi painting. It's a very durable paper and has a very crisp white look to it. This will work amazing with the materials that we have this month. And that is everything in this box other than our piece of candy and sticker, of course. But I think it's time to dive in and make something with all these materials. So coming into this piece, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to make at first. So I started with the wash and while it was drying, I started to think about maybe making this girl holding like a reddish colored flower. Then I came to this idea here, basically where it's a slightly anime manga inspired character holding this blossom. Now one thing I've always struggled with is making female characters and female faces to be more specific. And it makes it even harder for me when they're cartoon like characters. I always overthink everything and I make it way harder on myself than I need to. But just because female characters aren't my strength doesn't mean I don't draw them. I actually use my weakness as a reason to draw them so I can slowly get better with time in drawing those kind of characters. So I gotta say this India ink is actually the same exact ink I used when I was in college and I used it all the time and I used to make a lot of like ink blot style paintings so it was a lot of fun coming back into using this again for this piece. India ink probably is one of my most favorite loose mediums to ever use. But I am going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy this last bit and I will see you all at the end with the final results.
All right, everyone, that is it. Our completed piece using everything in the August Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now, don't forget about the weekly challenge prompts that are in your brochure, as well as the weekly videos where I do the challenges myself. Complete all four of those weekly challenge prompts and post them using the hashtag SmartArtWeekly and SmartArtProject to get your 500 Peacock points. Also, make sure you check out these SmartArt bundles. If you don't know what they are, they are a set of boxes that have a very specific specific set of mediums in them. If you want more information on that, make sure to check out the Smart Art webpage. And make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this one. And if you like my work, make sure to check me out over my personal channel over at Naughty Egg Draw. The link is going to be down in the description. But that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!